What I would say is we've somehow crawled to the uh, bottom of rank 12 playing this deck, so within like rank 13, and playing that deck at like rank uh, rank 15 to rank 13, so janky as hell but you like it. Well, again, I can't believe I, it, it actually vaguely did us some sort of work. I do feel like I want to get Harrison Jones back in this deck. Get some tech cards in the mix. Possibly could run a gluttonous ooze. <sighs> Harrison's more central to what we're trying to do. Gluttonous ooze can get pulled accidentally or on purpose, however you look at it, from Master Oakout. Uh, as an acidic swamp ooze can as well. Uh, but Harrison Jones can draw your cards and does not get drawn from Master Oakout, which might be seen as a positive if you feel like you need the weapon removal. You see the conundrum. The great thing about Tink Master Overspout, by the way, in uh, Paladin specifically, is it's not always just a, the defensive card. If you get right into late game and you need a miracle, uh, you can pray to, pray to Tink Master and he can summon you a 5 5 out of your uh, little terrible hero power. So, what's that liable to be? Revive a minion? Betrayal? It's a really bad time to play Evasion. Cheat death could make sense. If his deck has like three minions in, then why not play Sudden Betrayal now? Uh, why not play Cheat Death now, sorry. None of other secrets really make sense. Yep, yep, yep. This is Malagos. Malagos Rogue. As we do not want to lose, we will uh, wait a turn. <sighs> he gets a 1-1 copy of Malagos, we cry. <laughs> we need to think very carefully about how we play this. Cheat death? That feels cheat death if ever I saw it. Uh. Evil will be purged! We we also need to be careful as and when we uh, proc his stuff. Uh, you can let Iron Jesus take the wheel, essentially. Yep, well, that's it. Uh, there's a little bit of skill to the deck, and I'm not going to say it's... It's it's got a lot of the good control with Sharmony tools, so there's your thought process. Uh, don't fail me, Tinkmaster Overspark. We actually wait until Malagos is properly, don't we? Yep, of course we do. Summon a 1-1 copy of a minion from your hand. I've... Uh... What would Uther do? What would Uther do? If he's got 7 mana to Malagos with, we might be dead. But we've got to have faith, faith, faith. Again, if he doesn't, the fact he's not opted to kill this off yet, even though he's had a backstab and stuff, mm. would suggest he's not got Malagos yet. Please, one time, please, mm. please. No walls can hold. Me. Oh my God! What is the jankiness you are uh, you are running? Does not look like it's as straightforward as we initially thought. Big, big rogue. What a legend! I like this guy already. Be purged. Again, as I say, he gets his minion back for cheap. Yep. Oh. oh much. We might have to call it concentrate now because this is getting out of hand. We will be purged. Cheat death. And the last one as we know is sudden betrayal. Ah, get tink mastered. What a ledge. Uh, do you know what? All you doubt is in tink master. When you're playing big rogue, tink master's the boy. 
Please hit face, please hit face, please hit face. Oh, another face. Don't really want to use my uh, last of quality just yet. So. But this is only five damage. You see my dilemma. Have I got any Merlots left to play? No, I do not. Not unless once I've played these two guys. So we start doing that. Again, we know he's got Sudden Betrayal. Which just slightly ruin his, uh, his combo with potentials. So, in terms of positioning, there is a little bit of a thought process there. Get this guy in the middle so that we only deal one damage to his minion and don't kill anything and no it feels good. No walls can hold me. Again, probably want this to uh, hit a minion this time. Yeah, fine. So you know it's sudden betrayal, as I say. Oh, we've got blue gills left. Come on, Sam. Learn to play Hearthstone, please. Cheers, thank you. No, not sudden betrayal. How could I have possibly seen this card come in? Reporting for duty. Ugh. So as I say, one blue girl left to play, and then we're all out of Murlocs. All Murlocs up. Feels good, man. So, currently the damage we're pushing is 6... 6 plus 9, 15 damage. 15 burn potential with anything can happen once these two guys die. So... Mm. So as soon as next turn, we could potentially have lethal. Depending on what happens next. Again, would not be surprised to see... To see cheat death. Don't get torn. That's not torn. Oh, that slows us down. Love kills So we've got like one turn. Do want to find out if it's sudden betrayal. It might be cheat death. So it's not cheat death. So it's either evasion or sudden betrayal. In which case we need to think very carefully how we play this. Oh, we did need to get uh, Kelpher's Zad out of the way. How many more eight drops is he liable to run? The Lich King is 100% going to be part of this deck. So that does put a big awkward taunt in the way for us to deal with. We are a million miles of finishing this game out, so... Bold. Take it 50-50 on... Uh... On Rag, you must have a sap, surely. Face, face, face. Thank you. This Rogue's deck is the weirdest thing you've seen in a good while. I don't know. Oh, this game we're a long way off done. I'm sort of seeing the line. Ugh. Cobalt Illusionist into Silver Vanguard seems legit.